Today's video is sponsored by Clever RX. Click the link below and start saving money on all of your medical prescriptions. We've got a young man who has seen me before for a cough and he's back again. So let's go see what's going on. Hey, there you are. Oh, I love this kid. Yeah, <laughs> we love this kid. He's like a superstar. Oh, that's a handsome guy. You see him? <laughs> Who is that? Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's you, that's right. Tell us the story, what's been going on? Cough for about two to three weeks. Yeah. And not improving, just a very wet cough. And it has, it's kind of stayed stagnant, hasn't gotten worse, hasn't gotten better. Uh oh, he's down. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's oh. back on, buddy. Camera's back on you, love. <laughs> oh, that, he's knocked out by the cough. Yeah. Oh, there he is, he's back. Okay. <laughs> So uh, folks, I've already looked at his ears and his throat and they were fine. Oh, he's down again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really rough cough. Okay, he's out. I'll listen to him this way. So, big breath. He's not breathing. Oh dear, 911. There he goes. <laughs> Must be what it's like. All right, so, <laughs> so for the camera, in pediatrics, sometimes you just move with the patient. All right, one big breath. This episode is brought to you by Clever RX. Everybody likes to save money, and everybody should be saving money when it comes to your prescriptions at the pharmacy. I have a prescription that I was paying with insurance almost $100. With use of my Clever RX link, that price is down to $13 and some cents. You simply need to click on the link in the description, download the app and put in the group ID number or use the QR code we've showing you right here. This is the best in class program for pharmacy discounts. I use it myself. You're gonna support the channel and you're gonna save lots of money. <laughs> when I'm listening to his right lower lobe, what I'm hearing is crackles. Like if you imagine just moving your hair, I'm not making it quite right. I totally hear it. Yeah, right. Let's see. <laughs> you made up those sounds. Mm. Anyway, we have an, a slight pneumonia in the right lower lobe. The rest of the lung fields are totally clear. So what does that mean? Well, when you've had an infection, a cough that's gotten more productive. He's down. Down again. And it's okay. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. I, I think I know what we can do. I think he's asleep. Did he fall asleep? I bet you he's asleep. I, I oh, know a no. sleeping kid when I see one. Oh, you're so smart. Hello? Wonder what he's dreaming. Anybody in there? Wonder what he's dreaming. Anybody in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably a Minecraft. That's what oh, you're dreaming about. Oh, that's what you're dreaming about. <laughs> right lower lobe, crackles. Uh, oftentimes, it, we think in pediatrics, school age kids, uh, of a single sided pneumonia especially right lower lobe, to be pneumococcal. That's a type of bacteria. It's very responsive to uh, penicillin, like amoxicillin. Sometimes we gotta go with something stronger, but that's what we're gonna do. Just start with a, a basic antibiotic. We try very hard never to use antibiotics. So sadly, that means every once in a blue moon, you come back like you guys had to. Mm -hmm. He didn't get better with just time and watching and a few other little tricks, tricks we were trying. <laughs> so. He's gonna get an antibiotic for his pneumonia because it's probably bacterial. And if he doesn't get better, especially if he's having any trouble breathing, you know, getting a lot worse, obviously come back. Cause that would mean we didn't pick the right antibiotic and we don't wanna have him get way worse without follow up. But as long as he's getting better, we're good to go. How serious is pneumonia? People hear pneumonia tend to That's a uh, really, attach it to a lot of concern. Really good question. Most pneumonia in the winter time in kids is viral, meaning viruses, don't respond to antibiotics. There's no need for antibiotics and they almost always get better just fine without any treatment, just watching them and supporting them. Occasionally a kid will get admitted to the hospital with pneumonia because it's such a bad pneumonia they need oxygen. And so if it's a viral pneumonia, you would support with uh, oxygen. If it's bacterial, antibiotics. And then of course, if it's bad enough that they're having trouble breathing, oxygen as well. But most pneumonias, I would say 99.9% .9 of pneumonias in kids 
you don't end up in the hospital, you get home, you get well just fine. Most of the time you don't even need to see the doctor. So okay. pneumonia back in the wagon wheel days in the pre-antibiotic era uh, was always like, oh, they died of pneumonia, right? right. In the movies. Right. But it's just not a big deal. Where'd he go? There you are. There he is. You were hiding. Oh, where'd he oh. go? There he is. This is like peekaboo. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day.